Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. As I'm sure you know, we deal with a lot of pieces here at Just a Brick in the Bucket. And something that we've really had to figure out as we move from the new to used sector is, well, what makes a good piece and what makes a bad piece? Unfortunately, I can't give you any kind of special answer to that. You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself. But something that I can help you do is reduce wastage, increase product throughput, and most importantly of all, help get those pieces clean. Yep, that's right. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can turn this into this. And all you're gonna need is a few household ingredients. Now that we've got our pieces, we're gonna to need to go ahead and get them clean. But before I do that, let me describe exactly where these pieces come from. This isn't just a random bulk lot of miscellaneous pieces that we got from a garage sale. These have already gone through a pull and an A-sort. So what exactly does that mean? Well, first we're gonna go ahead and pull out a lot of the stuff that's not gonna really go through the wash super well, or we wanna get into the store immediately. After that, it's gonna be split into a couple categories. This is done by one of our offsite contractors. That way we know that, for example, this category here, large plates, is washer safe. So now that we know that and we're ready to go ahead and get these clean, we're gonna need a couple ingredients. First off, we're of course gonna need some laundry detergent. We just use normal laundry detergent, uh, nothing super special about it. We just buy it from the store. Uh, after that, we are gonna need some hydrogen peroxide. Now, this, I know it's a little bit of a hot topic. You can expect some information on the future regarding this, but we do stand by our use of this. It really helps give that pieces the extra brightness and get a lot of that dirt off. And lastly, we don't just dump these in here. If we did, it would destroy the washing machine. So instead, we use laundry bags, and not just one laundry bag. Rather, we use a bunch of small laundry bags, which we fill up, and then we put them in a big laundry bag. And you really should consider these to be a consumable product because you are going to go through them really fast. So I recommend stockpiling up on them. They will rip. Once we've got all of our ingredients, we're just gonna bag it up, throw it in the wash, and get started. Now, spin cycle. I know this is a bit of a divisive topic, but we here at Just a Brick in the Bucket do run our Lego laundry with the spin cycle enabled. Now, part of that is because this machine just can't have it turned off. But more importantly, we've discovered it works a lot like a salad spinner. It's gonna whip those droplets of water out to the side and help get them dry way more quickly, whatever drying method you use, which we will get into in the next step. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started once again with spin cycle enabled on tap cold. When we were designing this whole cleaning system of ours, one of the problems that we ran into was that, well, things weren't really getting dry fast enough. The normal method of taking a fan and some towels and leaving it out for a couple days just wasn't processing enough for us. So a little bit of ingenuity and some Home Depot trips later, we ended up at our drying rack here. Now, it's really a very straightforward design. We've got some wood and then chicken wire and a screen on top. And this has helped us dry so much faster. We take advantage of the really hot California sun here, lay out the pieces, and they're usually dry in a couple hours on a hot day, and definitely within a day, even on a pretty cold day. So, doesn't really take that long. I'm gonna go ahead and unload all of these Legos that we got from the washing machine, and uh, I'll show you what we do after this. And bam, these are dry and ready to go to a beast order. What does that mean? Well, a B-sorter is one of our contractors. It's gonna take this bin and break it down piece by piece so that it can go to a cataloger who's gonna take those pieces and put them into an inventory or a spreadsheet so that we can upload them and get them ready for sale. If we hadn't taken the time to clean this, it's likely that both of those positions would have gone ahead and tossed a lot of these pieces into the trash for just not meeting our quality standards. So taking the time to wash, clean, and dry these pieces definitely helps reduce wastage and make sure that you are able to get more pieces out the door and to customers. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. I know lots of people wash in different ways, so we'd love to hear your feedback and if you have any better ways or if you think that anything we did in this wasn't exactly the right method. So looking forward to seeing you down there. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord. 